This was an article by Rick Thomas, not of Cripplegate, focusing in on a phrase, I just, I just can't forgive myself. I have got great news for you. That is rotten theology, and this will make you very happy. This is what Rick Thomas wrote. Self-forgiving people are adding to the gospel. You don't want to do that. It's like placing the blood of the lamb above the doorpost along with your blood, too. You, dear Christian, do not need to forgive yourself. You didn't sin against you. You sinned against him, and against him only have you sinned. And when Jesus died for your sins, they are all gone. And you can't add to it. You can't subtract from it. It is done. And there is no need for a personal forgiveness transaction when that was accomplished at Calvary. Rick Thomas wrote, Christ forgiving plus self forgiving equals heresy. But Christ forgiving plus my acceptance of his forgiveness equals gospel. You sin. You feel rotten. That's good. That's called conviction. But you shouldn't feel guilty because you're not guilty. If you simply rest, he forgave me for that too. Then your conscience is cleansed and your emotions are no longer in turmoil and you won't try to figure out what do I, what do I need to do to just get over this? You can't do anything. Jesus got over it for you and you simply get to rest and trust and enjoy that. And the result will be you're going to love your God more. Rick Thomas wrote, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace. Okay, I guess Paul wrote it, but Rick actually just quoted it. Why? Because we need to remember this is what our faith is all about. This is what Rick wrote. If sinner man could forgive himself, then he would not need a more perfect sacrifice. You can't forgive yourself. It just wrecks the gospel. You can't do it. That's why we needed Jesus. And because we needed Jesus, it demonstrates we can't forgive ourselves because he does it all. Imagine a friend paying for your meal at a restaurant, and you appreciate it, but you decide to also pay for the meal in addition to his payment. That's ridiculous. There's no need for you to pay for something that's already been paid for, and there's no need for you to forgive yourself after God has forgiven you. The real question is, can you rest in his forgiveness?